The Hebrews and the Birth of Monotheism by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. Hebrew vocabulary. Judaism. Judaism was the first monotheistic religion. Mono means one. Theistic, or theism, is the belief in many. So belief in one. And there's your definition. Monotheism. Belief, theism, one. Torah. It is the Hebrew holy book, and it means God's teachings. There are five books in the Torah. These books make up the Old Testament. Please make a note of that now. Covenant, an agreement or promise. Abraham made a covenant with God. But we'll talk more about that later. Descendant, the child, grandchild, and so on, of a person. You are the descendant of of your parents. Sacrifice. A gift of an animal for slaughter as a way to honor a god. Or, if we're talking about many, gods. Prophet, a person who speaks or interprets for God to other people. This is a person who speaks, or people believe speaks, to them from God. Plague, a terrible disaster affecting many people and thought to be sent by God as a punishment. Exodus The departure of the Hebrews from Egypt. It's also one of the books in the Torah that documents the Hebrews' departure from the land of Egypt. Ten Commandments. The Ten Laws said to be given to Moses by God. Sabbath the seventh day of the week, to be used for rest and worship, according to one of the Ten Commandments. It is believed that, the Hebrew, that, that, that by the Hebrews that God created the world in six days, and on the seventh he rested. While for many Christians that day, well, for Christians, that day is Sunday, for Hebrews, for Jews... It takes place starting at night of Friday and goes through Saturday. That is the way most or all of Jewish holidays begin. They start at night and go through the next day. Please make a note of that for yourself.
Ark of the Covenant, a chest that held the Ten Commandments that was carried to Canaan. Do you remember the other name for Canaan? If you said Phoenicia, you're correct. And no, contrary to what the Raiders of the Lost Ark said, it's n potentially does not have that power. But nobody knows for sure, since it was lost to time. Diaspora, a scattering. Rabbi, a religious teacher who studies and teaches others about Jewish law. Talmud, the collection of ancient Jewish writings that interpret the law of the Torah. Gentile, a non-Jew. Yo. <laughs> Synagogue, a place of Jewish worship. Similar to a temple or church or mosque. Please take a moment and pause the video if you need to finish up any writings. And please, of course, highlight all the new vocab words that you have learned. Moving on. Key points in the growth of monotheism. Around 1750, and we're not sure because it was never written down, and it was only spread by oral tradition. Please make a note of that oral tradition. In about 1950 BCE, Abram lived near Ur, and he moved his clan and their herds of sheep and goats to the land of Canaan, also known as Phoenicia. About 1800 BCE, a famine forces the Hebrews to Egypt, and according to Torah, they originally prospered. Around 1250 BCE, the Pharaoh, fearing the growing Hebrew population, and he enslaved them. But this is according only to Torah. There's more information about this developing every day, but we'll get into that later. All you need to know for now is that according to the Jews, they believe that about in 1250 BC, they became enslaved. Unknown time because we're not exactly sure when. Again, not written down. But at some point after the events of their supposed enslavement, exodus from Egypt with Moses, where the Jews left Egypt and head to the Red Sea. This is that coal parting of the Red Sea thing. Around 10,000 BCE, the kingdom of Israel is set up under King David. Yes. Those of you who have a little bit of biblical history remember that this is the same David who beat Goliath. In about 931 BCE, the kingdom of Israel splits into two kingdoms. Northern kingdom, it stays the name of Israel, and the southern kingdom of Judah. In about 722 BCE, 
Israel is conquered by the Assyrians. Unfort uh, luckily for the Jews, they aren't killed. They're just, asked, they're, they're just kicked out of the land. Around 597 BCE, Judah is conquered by the Neo-Babylonians and Nebuchadnezzar. Around 70 BCE, excuse me, so after it turns around, they are defeated by the Romans, and the Jewish diaspora begins. Can you think about what confrontation the Romans had with the Jews? If you said the, diff the battle between polytheism and monotheism, you're correct. At this point, the Romans are still polytheistic. And although they are very considerate, usually, of people's religions, the Jews do not want to, to pray to their gods at all. So the, so the Romans kick them out. It takes another almost 1,900 years before the Jews return and a new state of Israel is created. And that state is still there today. Please take a moment and highlight Abram, Ur, moved, land of Canaan, famine, Hebrews to Egypt, Kingdom of Judea set up under David. And Jewish diaspora begins. Thank you for listening.